so we are going to see how to generate mesh of different sizes using ls pre post using the element generation tool in the mesh tab many times what happens that you would like to have a variable mesh sizes and although there are different gradations schemes available in different finite element uh, preprocessor and post processor what i am going to show you is just an easier way to do it which allows you to increase the mesh size along one direction so the mass aspect ratio is going to change however you can keep it within a limiting value so let me just get started to demonstrate so we have first we'll create a basic model or uh, using the mesh op option uh, what we have here uh, let us just create a using the shape measure tool a box element which basically it will create a box solid of 10 elements along each of the direction so I'll just create it and then accept it remember that mesh size is 10 along each direction okay so let me just create it and then accept it okay so we have this initial mesh now what I'm going to do there is an option available it is called element generation tool and this is a very neat option available in ls preprocessor pre uh, prepost uh, you could use it to generate additional elements and it could be shell elements solid elements from surfaces from solid face and different uh, other type of combination so for example let us say i want to generate right now i have element sizes of 10 mm each side uh, what I want to do I want to keep it like this and then I want to increase the mesh size along each of the directions so I'm going to keep that same target part because this is the same part ID that I want and then thickness it was 100 along each direction so let us say from the center it is 50 I want additional 100 okay but I want total number of segments instead of 10 which would give me a, again 10 same size at existing I would make it 5 so that now one side of the element would become length 20 and this is along the uh, direction Y so I'm going to click here Y showing that this is along the direction Y and first I'm going to click or select this surface here so I'm going to use the prop command in the selection menu okay and then i am going to select all of these elements here and then i am going to create these elements okay so let us see what do we get okay okay so what i'm getting here is you can see that this length is although constant along this the length has increased okay so of course the aspect ratio is going to change and you might argue that well it is going to affect my accuracy well it is not if it is away from the area of interest or from the area where there is large non-linear deformation or non-linearities uh, especially let us say I'm modeling a contact problem in which something is impacting here so I can have the smaller regular meshes here and then maybe I can increase the aspect ratio along all four directions to increase the computational efficiency okay so same thing what I have done here I'm going to do on the other side on this face here so I'm again going to go to the element generation tool and here I'm now I'm going to do because this would be negative y direction okay so let me just rotate this model okay uh, I've not selected an element let me just use the prop command so that I select this whole face so as you can see now this whole face is selected okay and again just make sure that you keep the part ID as one so that it is the same part otherwise you'll have to again go to the transform option to copy the part to the same uh, part that uh, you intended to be and I want same thickness 100 but then 5 along the negative direction so let us now create this and accept it again i have the same thing okay okay all right now 
what I want to do again now I've done let us say 20 I again want to increase the mesh size okay further so what I'm going to do now I'm going to take one and in the negative direction itself instead of five let us say from 20 I want to go to 40 so well then segment I'll have to change for an integral element but uh, maybe perhaps what I can do I want to go to let us say 50 so I want to keep only two segment of total thickness 100 uh, I'm going to again select this face here and then I'm going to create it like this and then accept it okay so let me again go like this and the same thing I'm going to do on this side so now I'm going to change to positive y direction again uh, in this option again I'm going to change this part id to 1 prop option is activated so I'm going to create uh, what happened here yeah okay fine so I have accepted it okay so as you can see initially I have the mesh size 10 then I became 20 and then I went on to 50 typically in a finite element you should try to keep the aspect ratio of element within 10 okay uh, in fact within 5 if you can however in this case I have to give up some of the accuracy for computational efficiency and that is the decision that you would always have to make okay now I have done like this now let us say I have to do the same thing in other two direction and now it would be easier okay it would be easier if I just select it like this okay so what other option could be that you do one at a time so first time you had done 20 again you could have just done the same thing here now what I'll have to do is to use the same element uh, depth so what I'm saying I'll, I'll just show you here I take one here now I have to make choice remember if I would have done let us say after completing the first step of these uh, 20 mm sizes I would have again done the same 20 mm on each of these sizes up to this point and then again go to 50 however now I have to select whether I want to go ahead with 20 or whatever so what I'm going to do here let me select somewhere in between well I'll, I'll just select 20 so I'll use 5 here and then this would be along positive x direction so I'm going to click this use the prop tool and then gen generate and then see how does it look like okay so you can see because I've used 20 here it looks like this a square meshes for the 20 but sometimes distorted meshes okay but I recommend you do the first thing first you create 20 in this side 20 on that side okay and then you go ahead with creating again the same thing on these sides okay so let me just again create negative x now for this face change the part type to 1 okay and let us see what do I get okay okay so this is this is what I've got okay so basically now I have a central mesh which is finer and then other meshes which are which I have to decide you know what thickness is so I have done like this if I would have done just used up to this element uh, for the central portion it the computational efficiency would be much less compared to what I have right now here okay so you can try like you know similar to this you can try different options uh, if you have to generate meshes above and below as well again you can do the same thing okay so this concludes our tutorial